A tomb containing a human skull with a bird's beak was discovered, initially leading scientists to believe it was the burial site of a birdman. However, after thorough investigation, archaeologists were astonished by what they found. This discovery is just one example of numerous archaeological finds around the world, many of which still hold unsolved mysteries. Let's delve into a fascinating discovery that captivated the attention of archaeologists worldwide, emerging from the annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union at the end of 2018. The enigma surrounds Gunung Padon, a site marked by the presence of ancient stone pillars. While first documented in a report by the Dutch East Indies Archaeological Service in 1914, earnest research only commenced in 1979. Situated in the village of Karam Mukthi, Sianjur Regency, West Java, Indonesia, Gunung Padong has become a focal point of exploration. Decades of research have unveiled compelling evidence suggesting the existence of remnants of an ancient temple concealed beneath pyramid-like structures buried underground for millennia. In contrast to the symmetrical pyramids built by the Maya, the megalithic site at Gunung Padong exhibits a broader structure with a semicircular formation in front, spanning an area of approximately 150,000 square meters. The site has been layered with various soil deposits indicative of distinct temporal periods. The upper layers date back around 3,000 to 3,500 years, while the deepest layer, at a depth of 15 meters, is estimated to be over 9,000 years old. At the pinnacle of the upper layer, several pillars crafted from basaltic rock emerge, complemented by arranged stone columns forming walls, pathways, and chambers. The ongoing research endeavors of scholars aim to unravel additional mysteries concealed within this ancient site. The curiosity surrounding Gunung Padong persists, inviting the world to contemplate the advanced knowledge of ancient civilizations and the enigmatic secrets concealed beneath the layers of time. Across the ocean, approximately 11,800 kilometers away from Gunung Padong, another discovery has ignited excitement. This is an Anglo-Saxon burial site unearthed during the construction of the HS2 railway line, a significant infrastructure project connecting London with major cities in central and northern England. The Anglo-Saxons, a group of Germanic people from mainland Europe in the 5th century, settled in England during the early Middle Ages. They intermingled with the native British population, jointly forming a ruling class, a historical phase with significant impact up to the Norman conquest. This discovery is one of the largest finds in English history. In the stone burial site, not only human skeletons were found but also sharp weapons and jewelry like brooches. In total, there were 141 inhumation graves and five cremation graves. The most striking find was the skeleton of a man with a sharp iron embedded in his spine providing clues for experts to delve deeper into the causes of their deaths. Not just the Anglo-Saxons from the 5th century have their share of surprises, but also the Vikings, whose allure never fades. A discovery by scientists from the University of Copenhagen, Denmark, presents us with an unexpected story from Viking life. A unique Viking burial was discovered with deer antlers placed on the skull challenging the common myth of Vikings typically depicted with horned helmets. In fact, there is no evidence of Viking helmets equipped with horns. The deer antlers, along with the bones of small animals such as squirrels, martens, and otters, provide a unique insight into Viking life and culture in the 10th century. At that time, otter fur was a symbol of status and luxury for the Vikings in Denmark. Since otters were not native to the region, they obtained this fur through trade in areas they raided. The Vikings, known for their raids across Europe, North America, Russia, and Turkey, brought back otter fur as a prestigious trophy. This burial reflects not only the unique lifestyle of the Vikings but also illustrates their obsession with symbols of wealth and success. It's a rich portrait of Viking history and culture during their era. Continuing the discovery of unique burial mysteries, 
This story takes us to Siberia, where the secrets of an ancient shaman are preserved. The discovery casts a magical aura around it. In 2018, two unusual graves were found in Siberia, intriguing many with their distinctiveness. Initially, some thought these were the graves of Bergman, but further research revealed a surprising truth. The graves belonged to a male shaman from the Ainu culture, which dominated western Siberia around 5,000 years ago. The grave featured about 50 stork beaks meticulously placed around the shaman's skeleton. This identification opened a window into understanding the spiritual practices of the time. The stork beaks were believed to be part of a ritual costume or headdress that adorned the shaman. They were arranged at the back of the skull and along the neck, creating the illusion of a collar that protected the shaman even in death. The uniqueness of this grave highlights the cultural diversity of ancient Siberia and reaffirms the shaman's significance in the Ainu society. It offers a fascinating glimpse into the spiritual and mystical beliefs of ancient Siberian people. In a cave in the Altamira area of Italy, a terrifying yet incredible discovery was made in 1993. A team of speleologists exploring the cave stumbled upon an ancient human skeleton that had become one with the limestone formations of the cave, creating a stunning sight known as the Altamira Man. This skeleton had been trapped in the cave for thousands of years, encased by dripping limestone from the cave ceiling. Over time, the bones solidified, merging tightly with the cave elements. It is believed that the man fell into a well-like hole and became trapped, eventually dying of starvation. The Ultimura man is estimated to have lived between 150,000 to 250,000 years ago, representing the Neanderthal period. It is considered the oldest DNA discovery from a Neanderthal human. This skeleton is a precious window into the past, revealing the life and conditions of ancient humans who preceded us. Despite ongoing debates over whether Neanderthals should be classified as Homo sapiens or a different human species, the skeletal structure of the Altamira man provides an intriguing and valuable insight into human evolution. In 1922, Armando de Otto Morris made a world-shaking archaeological discovery, the Dolmen de Soto. This site was uncovered when he planned to build a new house on his land in Lobita, opening a gateway to the mysteries of Neolithic ritual burials. The Dolmen de Soto forms a circle with a diameter of about 75 meters, inside which lies a V-shaped corridor stretching 20.9 meters, surrounded by standing stones that hold historical secrets. Believed to have been constructed between 4,500 and 5,000 years ago, this dolmen stands as a silent witness to the enigmatic Neolithic civilization. It is not just a place for ritual burials but also one of around 200 similar sites in the province of Huelva. The local inhabitants of that era likely used this dolmen for worship and ceremonies, reflecting a deep connection between prehistoric humans and their spiritual world. The Dolmen de Soto serves as tangible evidence of the life and beliefs of the Neolithic people, still harboring numerous mysteries to this day. Its presence invites us to delve into and contemplate the spiritual and cultural heritage of the past that has shaped humanity's long journey towards civilization. When discussing civilizations, one cannot overlook the Tigris River, often called the cradle of human civilization. During a drought in the Tigris River in northern Kurdish Iraq, a hidden marvel was revealed, a 3,600-year-old ancient palace that enriches the story of ancient civilization. This archaeological site, first discovered in 2010, took time before archaeologists could finally excavate it as the Tigris River receded. Excavation revealed a site stretching one kilometer, estimated to be about 3,400 years old. This building turned out to be a remnant of the Mitanni kingdom, comprising large houses, a magnificent palace, streets, and tombs. The Mitanni kingdom, which had relations with the pharaohs of Egypt, ruled the area between the 15th and mid-14th centuries BC. 
The existence of this ancient palace takes us on a journey through the past, uncovering the mysteries of the life and culture of the Mitanni people, long lost to history. This excavation is not just about physical ruins but also about reviving the voice of the past, which now speaks through the stones and walls of the palace, a historical legacy trapped in the flow of time, now rediscovered to provide new insights into the glory of ancient civilization on the banks of the Tigris River.